SAP mark. So me.sap.com. So what is the use case for the me.sap.com? So previously it was known as they are the sites to access the same service marketplace called the, the service.sap.com or the support.sap.com here. So what is the advantage of having this one here? So normally customer will purchase the softwares and so license from the SAP. SAP is our vendor. SAP is our vendor here. Vendor means who provided the softwares to us, support and the licenses here, they will provide the support to us as well. What type of support? Normally we are doing the support activities, right? Sir, what kind of support activities in case in case we are also unable to perform any queries or questions, we are unable to fix the P1 issues, P2 issues, product level box, any solutions or anything is required. So that time we may have to involve the SAP. We may have to involve the SAP here. So how to involve the SAP here? By raising the support ticket here. We can get the assistance from the support ticket, OSS tickets here. So the following the cases like, the OSS ticket we have to raise or OSS ticket or OSS case we have to raise it here. So ticket or case are same. So we have to create the ticket with SAP so that they will contact us. They will contact. So then they will, uh, we have to raise it. Before that, before raising the OSS message, so all your systems, all your SAP systems in your landscape, whatever you have done the installations you are using all your system should be up to date in the service marketplace depends upon the license number all your sap system should be up to date in the sap marketplace here it means service marketplace in the systems list in the systems list all your system should be up to date all your system should be up to date in the systems list here in the systems list all your system should be show here in the systems list here so here, if you go to the systems here, all your test systems, production systems, all the systems should show. All the systems should show here, right? So then after that, by selecting that system, we can raise the ticket. So I will show you how to raise the ticket here. So then, so, so normally SAP team will sit here, right? So they are in the different network, different places. They will sit, the SAP guys, they will sit it here. But our network is here. This is the customer network. Right. This is the customer systems. These are the customer SAP systems. All are the customer SAP systems here. Right. So if the SAP support person, they want to connect to the our system. If they want to connect to the our our network, they want to breach the our network. Then they want to connect to the our system. Then we need to have the SAP router. SAP router is the small service file here. So that we have to install it. The binaries we have to just extract it that there is a zip file we need to download it from the service marketplace we have to extract it that that router file then in the sap router file in the it contains the some root tab sap root tab there is a file in that file all our sap system details all our sap system related ip details and everything ports and ip details we have to maintain in the router we have to maintain in the sap router we have to maintain here this is the sap router here in the router we have to maintain the all the details here right so here it is the sap support person same as like basis consultants only so they are the another level support guys here another level support guys they have the some uh, troubleshooting tools are there to fix the issues we can also fix the dumps they can also fix the dumps but so in case if you are unable to fix the issues there is a business down situation in case we are already we are trying we are trying we are we are trying to start the system we are trying to fix the one issue we are trying to check the job related issues the, we are checking 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 but uh, we are not getting the conclusion we are facing the multiple issues then in that case we need some assistance from the sap team right in that case we may have to contact the sap by raising the ticket here so normally the support landscape will be sap support person is here but this is the, our customer network here. This is the customer landscape systems here. This is the customer customer systems here. Customer systems. Customer systems here. So then they want to breach. So in that case, what they have to do, we need to have the router file, SAP router file. Here, the router, the router service will come into the picture here. So 
if they want to connect sap team they want to connect to the our system securely then there is a rotor certificate we have to import to the here and there we have to import to the here that is exchange we have to done it then we have to register all our sap systems all our sap systems into all our sap system into the sap rotor file we have to import it sap the rotor file we have to import all our sap systems here once you import the rotor file here so what we can do it is imported then connection test is okay everything is fine now you when you raise the ticket with sap sap person will we want to connect to the us sap support person they want to connect to the our systems here they want to connect to the our systems here right why because sometimes we will provide the logs to the sap sap support person will analyze that issue right so but sometimes they want to connect to the our system they want to connect to the our sap systems they want to connect it here through router they will connect it so in that case what we can do here in that case so we need to open the connections there are the connections we have to open it here there are the types of connections are there here types of connections so there are the types of types of connections connections here it's uh, not the sm15 and r3 connections the service connections like r3 connection right then http connection same as like sm59 so then wtf wts uh, rdp connection wtc connection so then uh, remote desktop connection i mean to say remote desktop connection then putty session then vn vnc connections they are the multiple connections types are there so they want to log into the your sap system directly then they can use the r3 connection they want to use the url to connect it then http connection they want to open the remote desktop connection they will use the mspse remote desktop connection they want to log into the linux level put the connection they will use it here right so here there is a depends upon the priority here ticket raising procedure so while creating the ticket here so we have the tickets called the p1 ticket priority 1 priority 2 priority 3 priority 4 tickets are there here so normally when you are raising the ticket you should not raise the p1 first why because to raise the p1 case so we have to provide the business impact and how much revenue you are losing how many injuries are working there is a business justification we have to find business justification we have to give it here in the p1 cases and everything so p2 cases it's a very high priority very high priority system is down production operations are very well then it's a very high priority very high very high priority very high priority very high priority case here p2 means it's a high priority p3 means here so it's a medium medium related issues there is no impact non production system p4 low priority so this one this one we have uh, late response from sap why because they may work on the priorities only right high priorities very high priority high priorities only here why because as per their SLA, while ticketing procedures, every ticket procedure, there is a LS, SLS are increased, SLA, service level agreements are included, which means for this ticket, we, we have to fix in this hours only. For this ticket, we have to fix in this hours only. Like that, there is an agreement with SAP, right? So then, then when you are taking the ticket, based upon your business impact, we need to choose the respect to priority and we have to so we have to raise the ticket ticket raising procedure we have to provide the details what is the issue we need to provide the logs attach the logs then based on that sap team will ask us to open the connection to log into the our system here ticket every ticket there is a ticket number will be generated they will log into the our system so then if they want to log into the our system we have to open the connection if the connection is closed they will come up to from here to here they will come then rotor will get the denied error they cannot log in so then we have to maintain the user id and password in the secure storage secure logon depot we have to maintain the user ids and passwords we have to maintain so normally that we cannot do maintaining the user ids and passwords so that is the security team will take care of the user ids and passwords work here so here our duty is opening the connection raising the tickets updating the logs so all those things activities comes under the our our system here so to log into the service marketplace I we need to have the yes user id we need to have the yes user id we have to take it out yes user id we have we need 
So with yes user ID only. Please go on mute, guys. So with yes user ID only, we can log into the service marketplace. Then we can raise the tickets. Tickets, we can raise it here. So here, why the router will come into the place means all our system details or IP details are updated here. If the router is allowed, then only the people outside of the people, SAP people, they can log into the our systems. By using this connection, they will log into the our system. Otherwise, they cannot log into the system. Maybe here. I want to uh, change out in there, like one another. I, uh, I, someone, P.S. Chaudhary. I informed, I muted already. You are unmuting and you are just talking. Okay. So this is the priorities, right? This is the priority of the tickets and the types of connections here, customer systems and everything, right? These are the types of things we have in the SAP system here. So now let's talk about the how to create the ticket and how to open the connections and all those things we'll see in the, the practical wise, how the router details are updated and everything here. So in that case, 